otro lado, con respecto a Volkswagen, finalmente se ha llegado a un acuerdo para que la compañía de origen alemán eh, vaya indemnizando y vaya haciendo frente a las multas luego de que a finales del año pasado, bueno, en septiembre, se dio a conocer que había engañado a las autoridades medioambientales de California en los Estados Unidos y esto, por supuesto, detonó una investigación en varias partes del mundo en donde la compañía pues utilizó estos motores a diésel que tenían un algoritmo que engañaban a las autoridades cuando se encontraban en modo prueba porque una vez que salían a la calle resulta que emitían hasta 60 veces más gases contaminantes de lo que aportaban las pruebas. Eric Schneiderman, el eh, fiscal de Nueva York, eh, dijo que eh, pues, la compañía estará pagando 15 mil millones de dólares para compensar a los consumidores y mitigar los daños. All told to date, Volkswagen has committed to set aside $15 billion to compensate consumers and mitigate the damage they cause to the environment and to pay penalties to states for false and deceptive marketing. Thanks to this partial settlement, because it is not a full settlement of all claims against Volkswagen, but thanks to this partial settlement, car owners will be able to sell their cars back to Volkswagen at the price they were worth before the emissions scandal broke last fall. Plus, they'll get at least $5,000 on top of that. The precise amount varies according to the model, making configuration of the car, basically the value of the vehicle. And as an alternative, if Volkswagen is able to modify its emission systems back to a level approved by the EPA, car owners will have the option of keeping their cars and demanding that VW modify the emission system and still receive at least $5,000 in cash compensation. So, Consumers have two options. They can either take the buyback or they can take the fix. In either case, they get, they get the money. This is really unprecedented for a settlement of a case like this. For its deceptive marketing practices, uh, Volkswagen is also going to pay to the states an additional $1,100 per car, or over half a billion dollars nationwide. Um, and under the terms of the settlement reached by the multi-state coalition, which my office organized and helped lead, That translates to more than $30 million in penalties coming straight to New York State. Te invitamos a seguir cuestionando la información con los siguientes videos.